stickers line the halls and blue balloons now on the walls, fitting for Tuesday's occasion as school staff and students celebrate being nationally distinguished as a 2021 Blue Ribbon School. It's nice to be recognized for all of the hard work. The school is one of 325 public and private elementary, middle and high schools across the country recognized for academic performance or progress in closing achievement gaps ranking in the top 15% of schools across the state in reading and math. It's an honor school principal Carla Davis describes is more meaningful on the heels of one of the most challenging years for educators and students. We had our Family Resource Center making home visits and office staff making phone calls to try to engage all of our families. Our teachers worked harder during NTI you know than ever. Davis explains while the work continues back in the classroom this year, students across the country are seeing difficulty catching up after a year of online learning. Our teachers know exactly where they are and give each student what they need, whether they need to be pushed ahead or whether they need some acceleration and intervention. So we really have a lot of systems in place. The systems are in place to keep the success going for students. School data from 2019 showed 92% reading and math proficiency among the more than 500 students at Great House. Teacher Marissa Wilkerson's fourth grade child was among those students. And I can say from the parents' perspective and from the teachers' perspective, you know, the kids, the teachers, the, our instructional assistants, our administration, we all work hard with one common goal, and that is to make sure all the students get to where they need to be. We meet them um, with what they need. Wilkerson's other child in kindergarten now calls this their school, too. For students, the school pride also extends outside these doors. They also have so many extracurriculars that are so fun to be in. You get to go to competitions with other schools. And prepare for the next step and a bright future. Reporting in Hikes Point, Gladys Bautista, WLKY News.